G'day everybody, Wes Wally here. Well, no fanfare thought he'd have a swipe at me. And I wasn't even going to bother with him because he's so inconsequential. But yeah, I thought it might have been a little bit of fun just to point out exactly where he went wrong. So, first of all, what you went wrong was, was not giving me a fun name. Now, look, Skew If, he's become insufferable around the office again because he's got the best and funnest um, nickname. Well, mine, I'm not even sure what mine is, but anyway. Oh, dear, oh, dear, guys. Give it up. It's not good telling lies, I tell you. Okay, so w, double double you. Where's Walter? He might try to tell you that uh, the other two objects were satellites. So uh, that's why the speeds are sort of matching. But Wade, he took some footage a bit further north, only about 100 miles further north. And uh, he's got the footage of the uh, supposed ISS. But uh, he didn't catch another two satellites, you know. Anyway, they're going to come up with all sorts of, of excuses. But... Um, Come on, guys. You know, you've caught two planes there looking roughly the same speed as the uh, supposed ISS. So, no fanfare. What you did wrong was you thought that because the light was moving, it was a moving light. Well, come on, guys. You can do better than that. Remember, skew if, I mean, Ruhif was tracking the ISS, which means any stationary lights would move across the frame. So if we look at this light, it's clearly a star, because if you compare that to, let's say, where the ISS and a plane are, do you notice how planes have things called nav lights which flick on and off at regular intervals? Can't see that on either of these stars, because they're stars. And you would have known if you had played a little bit more, because, you know, you were so full of cherry-picking nonsense, you didn't bother looking at the rest of the video. And I even gave you a star chart, and you can see on the star chart, I'll put a big red arrow on it, Look at that, there's a couple of stars right before it crossed past the moon. Could that have been what you saw scrolling past? Sure was. There goes one. There goes two. And there goes three. <laughs> and no fanfare, did you even realise that I had the exact time stamped on the bottom of this frames as well so you can see that when it passes those two stars matches lines up with the star chart fancy that so now you feel like a right goose why don't you just do the right thing you know ranty never does he doesn't take down his videos when he's wrong but maybe you can we know you have before take your bat and ball and go home and delete your videos so maybe that's a good one to do that with because you're really just embarrassing yourself here or maybe you can tell me where that three mile drop comes from from the ISS because at the moment Harry isn't it seems like he's just extracted that number from somewhere the sun doesn't shine to me I mean where the ISS is orbiting is what I meant anyway no fanfare well that was nice but try and think of a nicer nickname for me will you? something that's a little bit funny something that gets me a bit of kudos around the office so fresh look on truth and no fanfare oh, I've given you all the facts and figures and all you've given me, Harry, is words. And by your own words, Harry, you don't accept words. So I guess you two are going to have to come up with some facts and figures. But to that end, you guys are actually very well placed. You're a bit like Ruhif and Wade. So Harry in Sydney and um, no fanfare halfway up the coast, you should be easily able to find an ISS track that goes straight over both of you. If you'd like a hand with that, I'll leave you a couple of links in the description. And if you want, get in touch with me. I'll tell you just how to go about doing it. And then you'll be able to refute it because you'll actually have some data. Ooh, geez, you're making yourself look all clever there, where's Wally? Eh? Yeah, you know, that thing that we all like to see is data, not just words. I actually agree with Harry on that. Words, yeah, cheap. Data, that's where it's at. So let's see it, guys. I look forward to it. So, Wolfie, I've got your approval to do this NFF slap here. Okay. Yeah, look, I know why he said we we're ignoring him. Yeah. Yeah, but he's being a real idiot. Got it. Look, it's too easy. He just said some stupid stuff about stars being planes. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, I knew that would get you. Thanks, mate. Go for it, mate. Yeah, I know. He's made two videos in a week trying to get your attention, but, yeah, we'll just ignore him after this. Okay. So, Wolfie, for those of us who came in late, what do you think's got NFF's knickers all in a bunch? Yeah, okay. Just to give you a bit of background, I went to the guy's channel once over three years ago when I was doing some research for a P900 and he had a couple of videos shooting whales with his. I immediately recognised the area where he was shooting from because I'm familiar with the New South Wales coast quite well. 
and I just made a friendly comment about whether he could see Ball's Pyramid or not. And the guy just lost it. He just went nuts. So I gave him a bit of stick back and then he was crying about it for months. So I actually even apologized to him. He just can't let go. The poor sod. I picked him as a stalker on day one and I've been proven right. Oh, NFF. Man, I have never seen a guy who simultaneously wants something from you and is so prepared to insult you to your face. My goodness, I haven't even provided you the links yet and you're already back into me, mate. Just as well what you say to me doesn't really matter at all, eh? You're helping. You're helping me. Good, darling. That's good, darling. You're a good, good helper. Yeah, that's it. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. We've closed this power. So I'm just making a short video because there have been claims that I have never actually proven that I'm the one flying the airplane and that's fine. I just want to show you the real proof that I'm actually the one in the pilot seat making the video. I'm just going to pan around in this room. I'm in a hotel room and there's absolutely nobody else here. Okay, just panning around. I'm the only person in this room. Now I'm going to show you my left wrist. And you can see there's a discoloration there. That's from an injury I received many, many years ago. And the, uh, the color in the skin just went to this light color and it's never basically healed. But anyway, that's a distinct feature on my body that you can use to identify that I'm actually flying the plane in the following clips. So I'm in the cockpit just prior to a departure today. And there's the discoloration on my left wrist. And those are the stripes on my uniform and I'll get some more video from in flight. Yes, it's Wolfie, and yes, I am flying the aeroplane. It's a real aeroplane, and yes, I'm in the pilot seat. And there's the discoloration on my left wrist. So we just crossed the equator, which means I need to make an adjustment for the Coriolis effect. Okay, it's all good now. 
while we're on planes, let's listen to an expert on head-up displays, shall we? Yeah. So, Wolfie 6020, your plane flies at three degrees. Okay, at three degrees. Your ADIRU, no, not ADIRU, your uh, HDU is set horizontal and then you fly at three degrees. Lo and behold, looks like the horizon has, do you see? You're freaking idiot. Oh, sorry, I meant um, self-confessed expert. The Dunning-Kruger is strong with flatties. Let's listen to an expert talk about Dunning-Kruger. Fractured escape, Dunning-Kruger has two, has two learning curve. When you come out of the indoctrination centers, you're stuck on MT. Stupid. MT, MT, stupid, MT. I'm not sure what you mean by MT. Oh, sorry, yet again, that's a self-confessed expert. It's just so perfect, though, when he tries to talk about Dunning-Kruger and someone in the comments made a comment about Mount Stupid that Pookie just read it as MT Stupid and didn't know what the heck he was talking about. Because everyone knows the very first thing you learn about when you're talking about Dunning-Kruger is Mount Stupid. Upper left, that's where these guys are sitting, right on top of Mount Stupid. Okay, so if you like that, how about you click and share and subscribe and be the first to get in on the next fun little adventure into destroying the flat earth. Don't try this at home, kiddies. Ow. Oh, homegrown tattoo. How's that?